This is a wireframe view of our geometry. We can use FormZ Render Zone to give it a higher quality ray trace rendering. In this case, we have some plain colors assigned to our objects. Let's spice this up a a little bit by maybe modifying the server style texture parameters. One way that we can create a server style texture is to load a 2D pixel image. We go to the solar manufacturer's website, download a 2D pixel image of the particular solar panel that we're going to use, and that becomes the server style texture. For the 3D terrain, we can also load another image map. We go to the NASA website and we download an image of a satellite view of the surface of Europa. And that image is then used as the texture, and it is parametrically or mathematically mapped onto any type of 3D complex surface, such as the 3D terrain that we have here. If you don't have an image map, that's fine, because you can create your own. You can use any of the many different shader effects to create your own customized shader. We can also modify the reflection characteristics coming off that surface. We can choose any type of metal to emulate the type of reflection properties of that metal. We can even choose a glass accurate so we can control uh, how the light refracts or bends based on the index of refraction that we set here. So you can create some very realistic server style texture properties. You can also add a bump shader. You can have a perfectly smooth surface render as a 3D bumpy texture such as tread plate or a rough texture such as ground or concrete without modeling all the 3D bumps. You can also go into the predefined material libraries. There's many different Lightworks libraries out there for standard rubber, metal, and molding type patterns. Forms he comes with many different material libraries that are already set up for you. For example, we can go into the metals here, uh, choose a hammered gold. Now we can use the properties as they are or maybe further customize those. Maybe we'll put a rough bump shader on there and by modifying these parameters you can see that we can sort of customize the different shader effects to sort of emulate any type of texture that we need. So here we have our gold protective radiation foil around the top components of the lander by just adding a rough bump effect to that gold material that was already predefined for us. We can also composite the scene for example, we can load a background image. Once again, any standard 2D pixel image works. We search the web, we find a picture of Jupiter, which would be appropriate because Europa is a moon that's orbiting Jupiter, so it would be nice to have a picture of that in the background. We can also add fog effects, maybe add a brown uh, layer of fog on the bottom of the surface, which would actually be, be quite accurate uh, because of the hydrated salt reacting with the intense magnetic fields on the surface. Uh, it does have more of a brownish fog effect to it. And we can also add some additional post-process effects such as depth blur. Now this is a 2D pixel image but it still has the 3D depth information so we can control the placement of that depth blur so it looks like a photographic image. We can also add lens flares based on hot spots on surfaces or direct exposure to a light source. And you can see that you can add and spice up the image by just adding a few of these effects without taking away from your valuable design time. To wrap up this presentation, let's take a brief look at some of the animation features of FormZ. Now this is an actual NASA QuickTime panoramic movie created from the Mars rover back in January of 2004. FormZ has this capability built into it. For example, you can just give it an XYZ position and FormZ will automatically render a panoramic view and export that as a standard QuickTime movie which can be played back in any standard media player. Now the viewer has total control of what they want to see. They can pan back and forth and zoom in and out and gives them this interactive environment movie. One other type of movie is a quick time object movie in which you have a series of rendered frames in which the viewer can then move the cursor back and forth and zoom in and out to give them the effect they're in this virtual type environment and this is just a standard movie which can be played back in any standard media player so they don't have to have Form Z to view your project. There's also walk through flyby keyframe type animation in which you can animate the camera, you can create a path through your scene and render a series of frames and export that out to any standard QuickTime movie 
or Windows AVI file. And as of version 6.0, you can also do object animation. For example, we'll take our cryobot and we'll animate the different components, such as the impellers and the robotic arms that are on the bottom. And we can also animate light sources and also any parametric controls and deformations apply to your geometry. Although this presentation highlighted only a few of the many powerful features in ForMZ, hopefully it does give you a good representative sampling of the powerful 3D solid and surface capabilities, from small micro-mechanical components to large assemblies, uh, smooth, organic, complex surfaces, and even entire worlds modeled, rendered, and animated in ForMZ.